You've heard of blue collar and white collar jobs. Well, now there is a growing trend of jobs in technology that are being referred to as new collar jobs. Here to tell us more about this new field of employment are Kelly Jordan and Jason Taylor, or sorry, Jason Kelly of IBM. Welcome. Hi, Hello, Elsa. Elsa. I renamed you there, Jason. Sorry about that. That's tell all right. <laughs> Cousin to Taylor Swift, I was named Jason Taylor. I was going with it. That's well, all right. Tell us about New Collar. What does it mean, and where did this term even come from? We coined the phrase New Collar about two years ago when we really started to focus on the skills gap that's in America today. There's over 500,000 open tech jobs, but we're only graduating about one-tenth of the students we need from traditional degree programs to fill those roles. So for us, new collar represents the jobs that fall between white collar and blue collar on that spectrum, a variety of jobs in tech, from software development to project management to design, that require skills, but not necessarily an educational degree. So what are some of the examples of the new collar jobs that would um, fit these qualifications and, and what are the qualifications I should ask you as well? Absolutely. Um, software development is a great example of a new collar job. Project management, system administration, design, AI, cybersecurity, I could probably go on for quite a while. Um, they all require some different level of technical knowledge, but a common thread that runs through those is what we call soft skills. Skills like communication, leadership, teamwork, and collaboration. Those are the ones that are a little harder to learn. Those are kind of those traits that you look for in a candidate who might come in and really have that desire to learn those harder technical skills. Interesting. So I know that IBM is also working with veterans that are seeking employment. Does that fall under this category? Uh, absolutely, Elsa. As mentioned, you, you think about uh, this thought of an apprenticeship, as, as Kelly mentioned. It, there's no better apprenticeship than our military services, where those people who are coming, those men and women are, are talented with this base skill, those soft skills collaboration, communication, and those capabilities that allow them to be effective in the workforce. So, you know, we see that pool of opportunity and we say, hey, look, what should we do? Well, we set a goal. We said we're going to hire 2,000 of those veterans by 2020 in our Vet 2K program because we know that's a safe bet. We're going to go after that talent and that skill and bring them in, not just to our company. IBM's a place to start, but once they're trained with these skills, remember, it's a foundation that we'll build upon, and then they're ready for IBM or other, other tech fields across the industry. Really an amazing initiative that you have. You're celebrating the one-year anniversary of the company's apprenticeship program. Tell me about how it was developed or how it's developed over the last year specifically. It's grown really dramatically over the last year, and we're so excited about that. We started with seven places last October. We're now at about 170 in locations across the U.S., eight different states, in about 20 different job roles, software development, cybersecurity, design, again, just to name a few. Over the course of a 12-month apprenticeship, you'll go through about 200 hours of learning, uh, and then you work side by side with IBM managers and mentors as part of a live team, building on new products, learning new mm -hmm. skills, um, and at the end of that, earning a digital credential. What we're really proud of is that about 20% of our apprentices are actually military veterans. That's wonderful. That's right. Where can viewers go for more information? They can go to ibm.com forward slash new collar. They can right. see the apprenticeship openings we have out there. They can learn about the Vet 2K hiring initiative. They can even get started with some free learning that will get them on their way towards earning some digital badges. Perfect. Thank you so much for being with us today. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.